so question for you is can we do overloading with static methods yes we can although it seems simple but interviewer can take you with different different combinations cases in this question let's understand so let's say we have one method which is static this is the second method which accept integer as argument you can see there is no compilation issue now we will check is that overloading so as it's a static method so we can directly go by main main dot you can see these two methods are available let's select any one works fine second method 12 yeah works fine we can say overloading works with static methods yeah we can see the output as well so same thing let's say if I'm having int object one into this now we will test whether primitive will gets priority if it is static then is there any other change let's execute no from static they get details so there is no issue things are same this is purely overloading as non-static method now let's begin with second question can we do overloading with static and non-static methods together so let's begin consider you have one method and same method if you have then it will definitely let you know the duplicate to make it as a overloading let's say have a one parameter which is let's say int x things are fine now let's say if I'm adding static here things are still fine so we can say static non static we can keep together so let's say uh, you have these two static methods and uh, as I told you overloading also applicable on a static methods as well non static method. so now we have static and one non static method let's test the overloading whether it works fine or not first my question will it work the combination of static non static is that still overloading let's check so let's say I am having main dot we can call static method directly as you know so we I am calling get details get details is a method which doesn't accept any argument so I'm calling it yeah it works fine now to call non static method we have to create the object first and then we can call that and now I'm calling it like object one dot get details and now I'm trying to pass some integer number right even though we can see static as well as non static methods is available to call so we have created object for non static purely so let's say I'm calling by passing some number it works fine till now there is no problem we can see the output you can have something like character array into the static method let's say as this belongs to two different branch we have covered these cases in our earlier videos 